Hello again, YouTube, fellow flat belly travelers, coffee chat people. Welcome back again to another edition of Exploring the Power Within Us. This one I'm going to talk about today is called the Power of Visualization. Well, the first thing I want to say is to think of anything that I say as conjecture, perhaps, or opinion, or maybe even truthful, but being truthful to me, not necessarily for you. Try it on for size for yourself. See if it works, see if it fits, and use what you can from there, okay? So visualization, what is it and what can it do for us? So we had talked earlier about how we, as human beings, travel on this time continuum. We travel a long time, and as we, want, as we travel along, we want to improve the quality of our lives. And in the last set of videos, The Power of Desire, we recognize that in order for us to achieve something that we want, we recognize a desire within us. And that desire is usually backed up by something a little bit deeper called a quality of life. And so, recognizing that we have these qualities within us doesn't necessarily mean we still don't want to achieve things. We might want to travel, we might want to help our kids and do all sorts of things just because we enjoy it or because we feel that it's the right thing to do. So there's still to get from where we are to where we want to, to what we want to achieve. And along that path there are steps. Recognizing the desire, the next natural step is visualization. So what is visualization then and what can it do for us fundamentally? Well, a little story, a little example would be imagine that you and I, for some reason, wanted to go visit friends in another country, people we haven't seen in a long time. What would we go through mentally, perhaps? Very practically, what would we do? Well, first we could recognize the desire, different for each one of us. And then we'd go through something we might call planning. We might figure out how are we going to get time off work, who's going to look after our house. How are we going to get to the airport? Is it a taxi or drive the car? You see, what are we going to bring? We might even imagine seeing our friends there and how they're going to receive us. Like, are they going to be happy? Are we going to go to the beach? Are we going to do some fun things together and so on? All before we actually achieve what we set out to do. And this happens with everything we do, big or small, conscious or unconscious of it. And our success largely depends on the clarity that we put into what we're going to do. Imagine, for example, in a story, one of us shows up to the airport last minute and no passport. How successful would the trip be? It'd be a failure, wouldn't it? Lack of clarity, lack of success. Take a big example. Imagine if we are Gustav Eiffel building the Eiffel Tower over a hundred years ago. What would he have gone through? Hours and hours of negotiation with builders trade unionists perhaps, suppliers of material, meeting sessions with city planners, architects, draftspeople, drawing people, and so on, all to get every detail right down so they stand the test of time. And we have this beautiful monument to human achievement still standing to this day in the fine city of Paris. Take a small example, putting on our shoes in the morning. What do we do? Well, first we could recognize the desire. It could be something as simple as, oh, it's raining outside, I want to keep my feet warm. And it can also involve a lot of things. It can involve thoughts such as fashion. You know, is it going to match with something? Aesthetics, is it going to match with my outfit? What socks do I wear? Where did the dog put the shoes this time? You see, and in recognizing that these things go through, we go through these sort of things, these procedures anyway, we can learn to channel, we might say, this power of visualization for our own benefit. We can do something like this, for example. We can think back to why we desire what we wanted in the first place, which is usually our own version of, cert of a certain quality of life, and then incorporate those qualities into our visualization. In doing this, we bring up the real power of visualization, which is our innate ability to imagine what we want and then to experience it all to how, in how we feel and how we think in our daily visualizations. And we can, uh, we can uh, 
when we think about this, when we really think about this and we deliberately imagine, for example, how the feeling of freedom would be associated with what we want, or the feeling of happiness, or the feeling of achievement and having achieved our flatter belly, for example, or have in having helped somebody else, for example. And we dwell in this world of imagination for a few moments each day, really feeling and experiencing it. We enter the world of conscious visualization from where we bring up the power within ourselves to achieve whatever it is we want, including and having our flatter belly. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye for now.